Hey, PokeFam, back for another episode this week. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but here's my shipment to MNT. All right, here we go. Let's do this, you guys. So what we're going to need is... Because it's MNT and you're allowed to ship into top loaders, we are just going to use some top loaders and we're going to use this, your best friends. These are called post-it notes or signets, whichever you want to call them. Either one works great. So we're going to jump into this and let's show you how I quickly do it so I don't have to rip them all out of top loaders. So all I'm going to do is just going to take the card very carefully because this is the part that usually ends up damaging them in MNT. So take it. We're gonna rock orange today, cause I'm feeling lucky with orange. Put it on the back. Generally, right over the Pokemon is the best place to go. Cause then it's down there a bit, and then also gives them a lot of room. So we'll leave that one there, cause Pikachu is probably one of the coolest hits that I have out of this one. And let's keep going. So one of the reasons why I usually do a video before doing a submission is because then you actually have a record of your cards that you're sending. Even if you don't put it out, like I have an unlisted video of my PSA submission that I might let you guys see when I actually get the return, but I actually think it's pretty cool and a smart idea. So let me know what you guys think of that. So we're going to keep going. I'm probably not going to be talking that much through this. I'll do my best, but I don't know. We'll see. Best thing to do, ooh, that is dirty penny sleeve. Yeah, don't want to ruin your cards, guys, especially the nice ones like your Pikachu. So if you gotta throw out a sleeve, you gotta throw out a sleeve. Um, been talking with a few friends of mine, and we've been talking about actually submitting, and people are wondering like, what are the best sleeves to use? And I, I think we finally come down to penny sleeves are the best, because. You don't want something that's super tight fit because unless they're going to grade it inside of the sleeve Which I know PSA takes them out of so I mean it's just an added step that causes a chance of them being able to damage your cart So I kind of like the ability of having the penny sleeve the really really loose one so that they can just pull it out Slides out super easy And then off they go to the grading process so, how have you guys been for the past little while? Actually, I need to keep these in order because, as you can see, <clears throat> bam! <laughs> um, I got a lot. So, I need to keep this organized, you guys, so I'm not going to keep Pikachu up there. Have this here, so it's going to go from one to another, and then we'll have it on my handy dandy Mr. Chair, the assistant. Right. So, boom, let's keep going. I'm wondering if I can figure out a way, if I can just sneak it in here. <laughs> let's see. I don't think so. I think I just have to grab the sleeve every time. Oh baby, some of this parts are gonna be fast forwarded. <laughs> Maybe I should have pulled them all out first. <laughs> That's okay, here we go, Pikachu. <clears throat> so sorry I didn't put out a video so far this week. It's just been pretty hectic in my life, so needed to catch up, have some R and R with the family, so hope you guys don't mind. If you do mind, I'm sorry. And too bad. <laughs> Alright. Just that regular Pikachu. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Boom. We got a Raichu. So now we're getting to some of the more spicy things. Get that big boy Raichu. Here, one sec. Need to... There we go. Let's do continuous. Actually, I think we can lock onto this spot. Yeah, there we go. That's good. 
I think this one's actually in a tight fit, but that's okay. I'm sure they are professionals, and this card is not the most perfect, so... ED is okay. ED is what it is. But, I just don't have a slabbed version of an unlimited Raichu, so I'm thinking it'd be really cool to have one. What do you guys think? Then jumping into some jungle. I just kind of threw together a smorgasbord. Mm, uh, I sold all of my bulk to one of my friends, and... Uh, using all that money to pay for this submission so pretty much a free submission for me but i'll tell you guys one of the reasons why i was jumping on the submission for mnt because it's 30 day turnaround 13 dollars a card and i think an mnt black label looks pretty cool i just saw one for the first time from one of my friends in the group that i'm in and it looks really really nice so that's one of the reasons why i think i'm gonna jump on the train for that one so we got Flareon here. I believe this one is the non hollow. Getting faster, you guys. Some of these actually already have them on them because I switched them. But as you can see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta do this just to mess with the graders. <laughs> Then, boom, throwing down some first edition Jungie. Jungie. Uh, this isn't one of the ones that I pulled myself. Uh, leaving all those ones for PSA. Had a couple other ones. Or I think I only have one first edition jungle that I'm sending there. But had to have one. So here we go. Got Clefable in there. Now we got the OG Thick Boy. Snorlax. Love this card. It's super, super minty, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to send it to MNT. MNT is really tough on grading. Like, they hold it to the nth degree, just like Beckett, so when you get a black label, you, you know it's a perfect card. I really love how it says flawless on it. Flawless victory! <laughs> Reminds me of Mortal Kombat. But just look at these, you guys. It takes like two seconds. Makes it super easy. In and out, in and out, in and out. And I mean, I got... 500 of them for like 10 bucks, so not too expensive either. So we got Scythe. Sorry, my lighting is really off today. I'm trying to mess around with a few <laughs> new settings. Oh, I love this puppy card. <laughs> puppy loving. Uh, I don't know. I just made a trade with one of my friends from uh, the flea market, and he got traded in a bunch of cards with these, so whenever I get them or see them, it just reminds me of a good old time at the flea market. Really miss being able to go out to events like that. It was a lot of fun, but at the same time, my wife appreciates me being here every Sunday morning now. <laughs> if you can see, these sleeves back in the day didn't used to fit Pokemon cards, so you used to have to fold them, or at least the cheap ones that we bought. But honestly, not too bad. Doesn't do too any damage to the card as long as you treat it properly so just be careful you guys all right so now some of the newer stuff we got charizard gx i got a few charizards in here so got some hidden fates got some vivid voltage got some uh lots of stuff hidden fates vivid voltage champion's path and i think we even have some unified minds in here maybe some jungle and some base set but i think that's about it but who knows you guys what are you guys sending in lately Dub birds. I think I'm sending in a few dub birds, so let's see what we get. The only one I think I'm not sending in is the stained glass birds, but that's okay. I do not mind. And then I'm putting them on the back. I used to do it on the front, but look, you can still look at your pretty card, and who cares about Pokemon? All right. The other de birds. <laughs> As you can hear, Zozo's up early over there with my wife. They're having a grand old time chilling out on the couch. She's such a happy baby in the morning, you guys. I'm so lucky to have such a good baby and such a good mama. Shout out to Mrs. Professor Jojo. She's a babe and she's a hot mama. And I'm lucky that she doesn't replace me. <laughs> Luckily, she loves me. 
At least I hope so. All right, there we go. We got an Articuno GX. The first one that I'm sending is pretty minty. I'm hoping for a 10 on this one, but the next one I know is super, super off center. So I'm okay with what I get on this one. As you can see, super, super, super off center. But I'm almost hoping for an OC. Who knows? We'll see what they give me. But uh, as always, let's throw one of these. And let's go. Maybe on the Pokeball is the best, because that slid in really nice, guys. Okay, change my mind. Do it on the Pokeball, just the top, or at least at these ones. I got a nice SP on here. I'm really hoping for a good grade. I know it's slightly, slightly, slightly OC, but let's see how good the graders are. Let's see what they catch. But all in all, nice card. Super excited to send that. Just love Hidden Fates, you guys. It's definitely one of my favorite sets, or at least favorite modern set. Ooh. Just be careful. Try and take off all the dust and dirt and hair. You don't want to be sending that to MNT because you always hear of these horror stories of where uh, they accidentally enclose stuff. Well, my black label actually, or not my black label, sorry, uh, my BGS 7.5 Raichu actually has a hair inside of it and it just makes me laugh. <laughs> Glazion. So, like I said, I'm going through this. I'm doing this on video, showing all you guys because I'm documenting. Because I also want to do a reveal series when we get these back. Let's guess the grade. I'm really excited to see what we get and see what you guys think. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a grand old time with it. I think this is going to be one of my longer videos. Sorry, you guys. I hope you don't mind. I think this is actually a first long Professor Jojo video other than like my stream. So it's so, okay. Hopefully you guys like watching me. Hopefully you guys like listening to me. I <clears throat> remember. I'm actually going at not a bad pace. I'm pretty happy with it. But the hardest part is actually just looking up all the prices again, just because of the price fluctuation in the market. It's just been so crazy in the past bit. What have you guys thought? Oh, I actually just want to stop for a second, give a big shout out to my Instagram. Just been having a tough week, really been like doubting myself, having a hard time with social media. It's really a hard thing when you watch the analytics steadily and it's just such an emotional roller coaster. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been sending me the love the past couple days. It's <laughs> I've noticed and I've really appreciated it. And it's definitely given me the drive to keep pushing forward and keep on putting out these Pokemon videos because I, I, honestly... I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and that's the main thing for me, is just, I want to be having fun while doing this. I don't want to do it if I'm just forcing myself to do it and just throwing stuff out there. So I want to make sure that I'm actually enjoying the content that I'm putting out and making sure that yeah, it's some quality stuff, and I'm not just putting out some fluff. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully it's not just the crazy antics of Professor Jojo that you like, but to be honest, they aren't going to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think just with these ones right on the red because look at that just pops out just a little tiny bit you can tape it'll all be folded down then you pull it up just perfect little tab oh love it you guys we got another mewtwo so two mewtwo's two sizors two articunos Sorry, it's hard to do it in front of here. I have limited space. Woo, look at that throw, you guys. Magic. <laughs> do you believe in magic? I do. Anything that people say is magic that is actually in the real world is just science that has not been proved yet. <laughs> My wife is just looking at me like I'm an idiot. Funny doing the videos when my wife is down here. I don't think I've actually done one before when she's down here and critiquing me. She's just looking at me and she's just like, you are so special. <laughs> oh, I don't think I showed that one. Here we go. Got the birds again. Told you guys, we got a couple of the birds in here. Let's see if I can do it again. Wow. Oh, guys, I'm like a magician. <laughs> Yeah, just on the right of the Pokeball. It's perfect. Goes in nicely. It's in there super long so that it pulls great and just boom, guys. Super happy with it. All right, and then the first Rainbow to Birds. 
Look at that. Whoa, wow. And, whoa. <laughs> Alright, I might have to do it that way. I'm super happy. I'm just going to be scared that if I throw out a really expensive card, it would make me laugh. So, with MNT, because I'm unsure of how the resale is going to be, and a lot of this is just going to be for resale, I think I'm only going to keep about 10 of these from a personal collection, and then just either have some giveaways, raffles, and some fun stuff over Christmas. Maybe set up some giveaways for this, so we'll see. I'm not sure. But I'm getting really excited. We're getting really close to 1,000 followers on Instagram, and then I've been really, uh, not annoyed, but just... Sick of all the giveaways. I'm tired of people just saying, there's no one out there who's trying to support our content creator, so I'm actually gonna have a coloring contest. It sounds super funny, but let's see how many of you have actually stayed here and get the sneak peek of what's gonna happen on our contest for, let's wait, 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 ooh, pan out and boom, for this big spicy boy. Yeah, we're gonna give it away for a coloring contest. Here, Misty's determination, boom. Misty, she thick. So we'll leave that for the rest of the video. PSA 7, first edition, Dark Charizard. Giving it away. Two. A coloring contest winner. I'm going to give you guys a stencil of mine and Lily's uh, cover art. And uh, we're going to see what you guys got. Let's see these content creators. Show me what you got. If you guys want to mess around with it, change the design, just keep it us. That's all I ask, but I'll give the, I'm going to try and get a version online so it's a full quality version so you guys can render it and all that jazz so it's not just a bad Instagram photo, but it's going to be super exciting. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. And I mean, might even use it. And then you guys will get a giant plug and get paid I don't know. I think this card's worth about $300 US. So, come on. Show me what you got. Show me your moves. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a nerd. Really love Captain Falcon. Think I might have to get a tattoo of him. Really, really love Captain Falcon. Just love Super Smash Bros. Just honestly one of my favorite games from my childhood and just definitely up there on the nostalgia factor. Love it. Alright. Ooh, this one doesn't... Ooh, too bad. It comes. Blastoise, Blastoise, Dragonite, just in case, I feel like I'm not showing these, so I'm just going to show all these ones, so four, two Dragonites, Blastoise EX, and a Mega Blastoise, sorry, I'm getting super talkative about Super Smash Bros, just super excited, oh, look at that baby, okay, after I put on the sticky note, that's when I'm going to do it, I'll bang it down, and then I'll show you guys, and then we'll go bang, bang, Oh, yeah, gotta push them down. Okay, Mega Blastoise. EX. Look at that. Beautiful card, you guys. Really love what they did with Evolutions. I'm kind of excited to see what they actually do uh, moving forward with Evolutions 2.0 when it comes out. wonder if it's going to be a continuation of Fossil, Jungle, and Rocket. Oh, yeah, you know it. We're sending a spicy boy. Oh, I might even try and sneak in one more card. I want to send another Charizard. I have a couple other Charizards, and I'm feeling like sending them. We got another Charizard EX. Like I said, some of these were prepped for PSA, and I just decided, you know what? I want to send them all to MNT. Have fun with it. So, don't judge me. I had a change of heart after talking to my friend and realizing that a 30-day turnaround on a $13 purchase is not bad. And I really like the MNT cases. Like I said, MNT with... Ooh, that was a mistake. We got those ones. Get back here, Charizard. <laughs> like I said, MNT's black label looks really good, you guys. You guys should give it a chance. Gosh, I feel like I'm plugging MNT so they'd be like, Hey, MNT, you should give me a discounted rate. <laughs> no, as you guys know, I do not have any paid programming. 
And I also do not have any sponsors other than my company. <laughs> so that's okay. Having fun, you guys. And that's all that matters. Like I said, I'm more of a collector than like a businessman or anything like that. Uh, maybe I could turn it into a business. But who knows? But look at that card. Just beautiful. But it's actually kind of funny. I've been seeing a lot of uh, fan art posted by one of my friends in a group that I'm in. He's one of the leaders, and he does a card of the day. And he's been throwing out these sets done by some of the creators in the group. And I mean, it's kind of a shame that some artists just, they should have another illustrator contest. And really let the Pokemon community flex their stuff. Because I mean, it's super cool when you get to see everything in the Pokemon community. We got another Charizard. I think I'm sending like 11 Charizards. <laughs> another Charizard I don't know I'm pretty much sending all my evolutions <laughs> hoping to get some black label evolutions it'd be super cool so so does not agree though Don't be afraid to look at your cards and see if there's any hair or dust that you can get off before you send it. Because if they look at it and they can't wipe it off or anything like that, they will ding you. So, do your best. I mean, if it takes two seconds to prep the card and make it look a little bit better and you can get your grade up a bit, do it. Just do it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going to be sending in a lot of these frogmen. Or frog women. I have a lot of women in my house. <laughs> a lot. And unfortunately, I will be having no more children. So, no boys. There, let's show this frog woman. So, maybe I should do it like this. Show you guys. I throw it down there. Get this sticky note. Right about here. Put it right there, slides in nicely, and then, look at that, just above the Pokeball on the red, a little bit sticks out, fold it down, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, here we go, getting distracted, Venusaur. More Venusaur. Yeah. I wonder what all these grading companies do with all the sticky notes and stuff they get after this. I know one thing that Gary V, or not, sorry, not Gary V. Uh, <laughs> Gary, the real Pokemon King, uh, he actually cuts his uh, semi-rigid so that they can just kind of pull it open then slides it out and no risk of damage but I mean I don't know I've heard of some grading companies I've actually heard yeah I'm not sure if MNT has done it but I've heard of grading companies actually sending you back all your top loaders and stuff like that so that'd be pretty cool more Venusaur all right you guys we're getting on to the home stretch I'm getting good at this But here, I'll show you guys some other options that you guys can do for these. I bought a few different ones. I like these ones for semi-rigids. They're really, really good. But I also wanted to try out these big ones. They're huge. I mean, it's one problem that I was having with my other small ones is that I could only put them so far in. But with these, I can jam them all the way down in there. And just like, bam! So excited to try those out but those are going to be for the PSA submission and I think I'm already done with all those because I don't want to send more than 300 cards <sighs> yeah they'll be a lot of money honestly that's the one thing that I really like about MNT too is there's no upcharge whereas PSA like the more I think about it the more I'm not liking that upcharge it's potentially a lot of money if you're rocking a lot of tens oh, let's see frogman So, what about you guys? 
I'd really, really, really like it if you guys sent me some either videos or sent me uh, some pictures either on Instagram or uh, Instagram. <laughs> and just show me some of your guys' submissions. I'd really like to see it. I'm really interested in what you guys are sending nowadays because, I don't know, it also kind of helps me in what I should send. Know what I mean? I'm still learning as I go, but at the same time, I have a good general grasp of the things I should be sending right now and, like, popular items, but... It's best to always hear it from the people and what the people want. Frogman. Jesus, I'm sorry this video has been really long. Everywhere you look. Frogman, I told you guys, I'm sending a bunch of Venusaurs. Hey, look, another Venusaur. And this is just evolutions, you guys. I have way more cards. Ugh. But I want to actually give out a big PSA right now. Uh, there was a big thing that happened over in, I can't remember exactly which country, but a big country in Europe. Uh, a guy actually invited some people over to do a Pokemon sale kept all of his Pokemon cards at his house. The guys, when he went off to a back room to go grab something, actually locked him in the closet and stole all of his stuff. So PSA, get a lockbox. Keep it at a bank. If you're starting to get big collections, don't keep it at home because you're just adding a risk factor that you don't need to. I personally keep all my stuff at a bank, at a lockbox, and I just take pictures of it. If I need to go and grab it, I can easily grab it within a day or two. And I mean, it's not worth a risk. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, here we go. Venusaur. Oh, I told you. Send a lot of Charizards. A chee -chee 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 -chee. I think. Oh, this is my cracked ice one. Ooh. Don't do what I'm doing. This is taking years of practice. And even I screw, mess it up sometimes. So be careful with that. Best thing to do is two hard books. Very, very heavy books. Leave it there. Use um, one of those moisture removers. I believe it's the silica gel packs. And leave it in your cards in a shoebox for a couple weeks. And it should take the humidity out of it. And it should get rid of the bend. But I'm sending my cards. So it needs a little bit of prep work. But this is not super expensive card, not probably going to be a 10 or anything like that because it's a little bit off-center, but super, super card. <laughs> super card! Super! Super! <laughs> Love Frankie from One Piece. Alright, we're going to ask it. What's your guys' favorite One Piece characters? I will reveal mine in the next video. Until then... Uh, gotta hurry up, gotta go to work. Mm. More Charizard. The reverse hollow. I think I'm sending a reverse hollow, regular hollow. Boom. Cracked ice version. Um, oh, what's wrong, little boo boos? She's so cute, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm enamored by my daughters. I love them both. They're the best things to ever happen to me. And my wife. Oh. Full disclosure, the reason why I actually started doing these videos, it's going to sound really funny, but I wanted to teach my wife how to do all the things that I just don't want to do anymore. So I, I taught her how to ship, taught her how to process cards, taught her how to do everything. So literally, I have a kind of a bulk workforce. You guys are welcome. So if you're ever wanting to, get your wife to watch my show. They'll learn how to do this. They'll get some of the tricks of the trades. And you know what? Maybe you get to do this hobby with your wife. That's the best part. Because then they don't get mad at you and you can buy everything. <laughs> No, honestly, I think my favorite part is just ripping packs with the family. We'll all sit on the couch, sit together, and just like a little bunch of little kids in the shoe store. Oh, here we go. Sorry, forgot it. 
This is just a regular non-reverse. Is there a holo Charizard in this set? I can't remember. Oh yeah, there we go. Team build and battle box, baby. The only one I've got because everyone else was it. Or they were all sold out in my area. Gosh, I can't talk today. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> I'm so good at that. Boom. I uh, really like this one of the workers in the stores that I went to at Wiser's. Set this one aside for me specifically thinking that it had a Charizard in it. It did. Much love, my friend. I mean, I wanted the Lugia. <laughs> I'm not about that Charizard hype. Overrated. That's okay. Still love him. All right. Had to send one. So we're getting an amazing rare in there. Probably my best looking one. So this is the one I'm hoping that I get a perfect 10 on. Oh, maybe not. There's a nick in the bottom. I did not see that. Ugh. It's okay. That's okay. Still a nice card. She get a nine. Because it's amazing, right? Like, look at that. That's just beautiful. Sorry, I have two lights set up for once. One so that I can actually flash the hollows. I'm grinding, baby. I'm trying to learn how to do this. Oh, speaking of the bad boy himself, we got Lugia out. Really excited to send my Neo. Uh... Ooh. Neo Genesis Lugia. I had to think about that one for a second, boys. Boom. Another one. Had a little fluff on it. Gotta prep the cards, you guys. Prep them. Pretty cool hollow. I really like what they did with Vivid Voltage. They look really cool. I think they were trying to do it this way so that they can kind of get away from print lines because I know vertical ones are better at showing. Ooh! The Galarian Obstagoon Raccoon. Really hated pulling him in Champion's Path, but I mean, now in Vivid Voltage, now that he's a gold card, everyone's just like, yay, I love him. Still hate him. Don't like him. Him and Senescorch are the bane of my existence. Everyone's like, Machampion's Path. And I'm just like, I didn't get that many Machamps. But I got so many Senescorches. May have sacrificed a few to the Pokemon Guard. Arceus. <laughs> Alright, getting into a couple gold cards here. Really like these cards. They're really, really cool looking. So, had to send a couple of them. Oh, I was watching my buddy... Uh, Armin, the House of Armin last night they were cracking some packs and uh, the black and gold, I believe it's the Zamazenta was pulled and it looked really, really cool love seeing that, Armin, you're a gentleman appreciate the cards that you pulled for me, got a VMAX Lapras super, super happy with that Lapras is literally one of my favorite cards uh, childhood favorite I'm sorry, I have a lot of favorites you guys there's so many cards in Pokemon and so many Pokemon that are just awesome, it's like I generally have like a top five of every different region. I, maybe I should do a video of all my top fives and maybe I should do a video ranking all the starters and stuff like that. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea for a video or what do you guys think? Or should I just stick with Pokemon cards? Ugh, this top loader is gross. <sighs> yeah, you learn something new every day. I gotta say with the post-it notes, it's not as good for pushing them down when you actually have... Oh, let's get this one back out. These ones, because they're a little bit less rigid, just, they do so good. And they go slide, 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 slide. But these ones aren't super long. That was the problem that I was running into and it was driving me a little bit bonkers. But... Still super good, you guys. Really happy with them. All right, we're getting close to the end. My wife is glaring at me because I told her it would be a 25-minute video. It has now been 35 minutes. 
<laughs> and then I still have to edit it, put an intro in front of it. Ah. Might not put this one out today. Might wait and give it some time. Give it its proper justice. Nope, just gonna throw it out. Maybe I might just even get rid of the intro. I'll mesh two things together. Nah, I'll keep the intro in. Sorry, speaking of myself, don't mind me. If you made it into 34 minutes, 35 minutes, get on ya. Oh, cool. I think I've been missing a couple cards, actually. Last one is Alakazam. Cape of Toughness. Memory Capsule. And Galarian Obstagoon. You guys saw the silly raccoon. I'm not showing him again. I don't wanna. Ooh, but look at that. I got a few of the Rainbow Rares, some Vivid Voltage. They uh, actually look really nice coming out of my case, so. I'm gonna be sending them. Wish me luck, you guys. Really appreciate if you guys send me some good vibes for my submission. Really appreciate it. Smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, send me all that love and support so that Arceus will give me a good submission. Colossal. Colossal pain in the... What? Yeah. He was super hard to pull. A dada. <laughs> okay, you guys, you can't get angry. You get about four months of Dada and then about 20 years of Mama, so. <laughs> oh, my little girl's looking at me. Okay, you guys, I gotta hurry up. We gotta motor through this. Let's keep going. Do it for the Poker Fan. Okay, so we got Beauty. Ooh. Okay, it's on the top loader. That's it. Keep going. Almost done. Oh no. The sleeve didn't come out with it. Ah. <laughs> First time it's happened. All right. All right, let's take it out and let's show these textures because they're just so cool. Like, look at that from the side. And you bring it in. Just beautiful, beautiful card, you guys. I really love what they've done with the Rainbow Rares nowadays. Like, the cards just look so much better than what they did in the beginning. I know everyone's going to be like, this is best. I agree. It is best. But not because it looks the best, but it's just because of the nostalgia factor. Honestly, some of the new cards are pretty awesome looking. Hey, what are you laughing at over there? You guys get some baby giggles. <clears throat> so like I said, this is what I do, you guys. I turn bulk into gold. And that's what I'm doing right now. Literally all of my bulk cards are gone. None. have none left. <laughs> that one's tight in there. He's a nut coming out. <laughs> I love that little goober. Alright. Toga kiss. And the other goober's up now, too. So the whole family's up. I'm sorry, you guys. I gotta motor through this. I have about ten cards left. We'll get this all done. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just stream this. Recycle energy. Here we go. Told you. 
Send in all the gold cards. As you guys can see, I'm sending a lot of modern to MNT. Modern generally looks a lot better than vintage. I mean, it's actually really hard to find good vintage. Love the textures. Looks fantastic. Like, look at that. Just sparkles. Boom. <clears throat> TV. You guys can turn on TV. I don't care. Sorry, you guys. Family comes first. And I'm sure you guys don't mind. We will show martial arts dojos. What's some of the kid shows that you guys are watching? One of the ones that I've been watching with my daughter that we've all been really liking is Kipo. Kipo and the Wonder Beast or Legends of the Wonder Beasts. Pretty awesome show. And I mean, I think my favorite part that me and my wife both agree on is just the soundtrack is amazing. So even if you hear it like 20, 30 times, you just you never get sick of it. I mean, if any of you guys know with kids, you watch a lot of the same things. A lot. I think I've seen the Croods like maybe 300 times. Maybe more. <laughs> Wifey, what do you think on that one? Oh, we got a shiny V Charizard. Or not shiny V. We got a Charizard V. Boom. I think this is actually my favorite of the Champion's Path ones. It's just really love to get it in a black label. Would really love to. Piers again. Ooh. Ooh, two, three cards left. All right, here we go, you guys. Make sure I'm doing it right on the list. Yep. So, best to keep it organized. I'll quickly go over my list at the end uh, for everyone. Keep it organized. They'll give you better grades, not even joking. The more organized and easier and streamlined you give this and the better, like put little smiley face on your packages, make them smile, make them happy, make them feel special. Cause you know what? These people are determining the value of your card. Ooh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, I could show this one. Hey, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> meow, meow, kitty. No. Get out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ming, ming, ming. Yeah, you gotta say, if you ever want a cat to come to you, all you gotta say is, ming, ming, ming. Yeah, here we go. Charming alien. It would be really awesome to get a black label Charmeleon, but I feel like if I get a black label Charmeleon, I have to, have to get a black label baby Charmander. Oh, man. Like, I'd have to. <gasps> Drop the big charger. Mount Coronet. Ming, ming, ming. Ming, ming, ming. And then, all right, you guys, we're closing it up with Brooklet Hill. Like I said, a lot of gold cards. Really, really excited to get a gold card sent to them. So, as you guys can see, this is the last card. I'm going to show you guys my submission form really quickly. Boom. Bricklet Hill. Okay. So, in order to save you guys some time, we're going to pan out a little bit. Go for it. I don't care. You can watch whatever you want. I don't mind. The viewers don't mind either. You guys don't mind, right? Exactly. Smash like to continue. Continue. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, you don't have to fill everything out. The most important thing is the player name and the card number and the declared value. Those three things are the most important. Sleeves. Uh, I'm going to talk to my friend about that. I wasn't unsure of it. But sport, Pokemon, 
want do it once you don't really need to do it again set year company name set name so you, you can do the abbreviated form of it that's not fine the subset i usually like to do full names of it so did vivid voltage pikachu v max 188 over 185 declared value of 300 dollars it might be a bit more but i was just going off of tcg and do it lower the reason they're doing the declared value is the insurance reasons when they're shipping it back you don't want to pay an arm and a leg and a foot <laughs> so there we go that being said you, you do honestly want to give a proper valuation of the card so make it somewhat around it you don't want to be saying oh it's a one dollar card when it's a thousand dollar card yeah just don't want to go about that way i mean they're just gonna look at you like you're stupid and probably grade harder on you so try and fill it out as well as you can keep it as organized as possible as you can see i only had to put two names of the set list and stuff like that and then it's all just showing of different things i even did a couple of those on the cards because i had a couple of them and then as you can see pretty organized i like to keep it that way so jumping in back to this we'll talk about it one more time quickly we are going to be having a contest for our creators out there, content creators. We are going to be having a coloring contest. I will be putting up my stencil and letting you guys have free reign with it. But like I said, keep it us. Keep both me and Lily in it. Keep our Pokemon. You can add to it. Have free reign. And I'll announce it and get the link working soon. So as you guys can see, we're all done for today. And as usual, 